Good afternoon, Internet. This is Leanne Ellis, and this is DTLT Exposed, broadcasting live to you from the DTLT office. The Instructional Technology Nerd Center. The Instructional Technology Nerd Center. Um, I'm without my student aide, my, my co-student aide, Jen Arndt, today, because she's somewhere, probably she work here anymore. somewhere taking Fire. exams or Fire. graduating, doing something she's hopefully dead. important. Step into my office. You're fired! And the audience is saying that she's fired and that she shouldn't come back. So, Jen, if you're watching this, not. I'm sorry. It's over. Um, <laughs> this broadcast is for, supposed to be about Martha Burtis, but since she won't get on the show, what is this supposed to be about I don't know how long it's going to be about her. Wow. I may have to switch it up. It may have to be something like what more interesting you? like about me. <laughs> but until then, I suppose I can try and uh, do the task that I've been given and talk about Martha, who is... Um, an instructional technology specialist. No, Look, if you want to get on here and tell me what you are, otherwise I'm just going to make it up. You've done your research. It's no research. She's an instructional technology specialist, unless she decides to get on and tell me otherwise. And goddess. Or a special product coordinator. Projects. projects. Remember the thesis of your show? And, um... I'm the heart and soul of She... Humanity. Does I'm a lot the, of the. I'm the sweet are you gonna stop sentence. talking? I swear to God, I swear to God. I swear to God. All right, I'll stop. You said you wanted me on the show, so I'm kind of out. I'm done. She's done talking now, yelling at me. Okay, Martha Burtis does a lot of the coding, uh, for stuff, at DTLT. For example, she does um, a lot of the coding for UMW blogs, and she's created a lot of the themes, and um, she looks like Tina Fey, <laughs> and I'm just going to zoom this little thing out. It looks really cool, so watch it happen. Go! And... Um, I have some questions here that I was going to ask her, okay. but since she's not on the show, I'm not going to get any answers. No, I'll answer. I could, or if I could she'll. Do you stand in? Do you want me to stand in? <laughs> Jim, like, yes, Jim, Jim Groom, please, I'm please oh, pretend wait. you're Martha. Jim Groom's about to join us to be the stand-in for Martha Burtis, and she's apparently camera shy. Um, I just want to be. So. Here he is, Jim Groom. Let's get us all set up and in here. Hi, 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 um, Martha. Hi. How are you today? The lovely. <laughs> the lovely. Um, I have a question here. Is this show about me? It is. It's supposed to be. Do you like my little trinkets? My They're special okay. little trinkets I Look got them when I was in Germany. This is Martha, indeed. As a small child. As a small child. Did she really? Yes. Are you just making this I up? I was in a wheelchair. Ah! <laughs> 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 I was in a wheelchair for most of my childhood. <laughs> my mother would bring me one of these. Every, it makes me cry just thinking about it. Would bring me one of these every day. This is how I learned how to program in WordPress. I couldn't use my legs at all. I'm sorry. If, if it was so obvious that he was lying and that and everyone in the background was laughing, at, I would have believed him because I'm really naive like that. Okay. Him? Who's him? Oh, her. Him? Is uh, it? Do I really look that? You don't do the show, and then when you do the show, you insult me on my own show. I'm sorry, Martha. Gosh. Okay. I can't get any... <clears throat> um, who do you say Martha Burtis is? Who, who are you, Martha? Who is Martha Burtis? 
I'm, I'm kind of a, yeah, I, mean, I don't, people refer to me, I mean, I'm a complicated person. I'm, some people refer to me as a bitch, but I'm not a bitch. I'm of loving and soft, but I need a protective layer from people to keep them back. Like, I need to do my work. I can like get sucked bitch. into the hole that's DTLD. We all can. Yep. I need to be protected from this. We all do. So I led the way from that. I made this group. When Gardner Campbell walked away, I made this group. Who was it? Jim Groom doing his goddamn you and dirty blogs? No one could talk to him. Andy? Still watching YouTube videos? I mean, who was manning the ship? It was just I was, and it wasn't a man. It was a woman. Womaning the ship. I was womaning it. Exactly. Rock on. Rock on. Lady power. Ladies. Ooh. Ladies. In the house. <laughs> okay. That's good. Yeah. So, Martha, I heard Jim say that he created DS106, but but um, really, you made the website, didn't you? So it wouldn't be here without you. Jim Grimm's an asshole. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you why. Do tell us. He takes a lot of credit for a lot of stuff. Really? And he's got a head about the size of a goddamn balloon. Oh, a big that must balloon. be terrible to work balloon. with. A Zeppelin balloon. Zeppelin. Yeah. I work with him out of tolerance, not out of any kind of affection for the group we have here. And yeah, Jim Groom can talk a big game, womp, 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 blog, I blogged that, did you blog today? The whole nine yards. Yep. But when you think about what I did, and Tell us. we've had, Jim Groom has been blog. I mean, I don't know if you follow his little baba I've Wednesdays. heard about it. Fact is, is he's blogged about, oh, we can syndicate comments, the, the holy grail. It took me about, six maybe seven hours to figure out the holy grail that he's been blogging about if he spent half the time just doing wordpress rather than blogging and i put that together i built ds106 as a site submit an assignment you think jim groom had the idea for that no he took the idea and he made it his own i built that the the, the bringing in the assignments to feature who did what assignment do you think jim groom had that idea no he didn't he, he couldn't have, he, yeah, he wouldn't the YouTube, be here without you. He said, yeah, he's going to Italy. What? <laughs> yeah, he's going that, to that's Italy. a whole other thing. We move, this is my show. All Let's right. not you're talk right, about him right. anymore. I know how sensitive you can be about this that. This is my show. So, my But no, I'm not done. That's not all I did. Oh, tell me There was, this, you know, there's this little thing called Yahoo Pipes that some people who will not be named on this show won't touch. I went in there and I programmed that to collect all his comments. Wow. Assignments, all the good assignments that were done this semester, do you think it were his? Do you How think, do you think the audio assignment, the, the show was his? No. Web storytelling? No. What we're doing tonight? He could talk about, oh, the final exam, get ready, blah, blah, blah. I did that. I built this class. Everything good and innovative about DS106 came from me. So. It must I, be hard to be you, Martha. No, it, it, well. I, I enjoy living in the shadows to the degree, but when student aides promise me a show and then they wait week after week to feature the goddess that is Martha Burtis. And then she, she you know how. It, that's unbelievable. It, it is unbelievable. But that's not how even it. How could we have waited so I'm long? I'm doing all this for DS106, and you didn't ask me about this because you haven't done your research. But if you did do your research, you'd realize that's not all I'm doing. What else are you I'm doing? I'm supposed to be part time. Uh huh. I'm also single-handedly organizing Faculty Academy. Wow. Right? No help. No help. Not even the student aides. No. We don't help. Student aides. I ignore her. Student aides this year are useless. I know. I mean, I don't even know. I mean, what do we pay them for? I go out of my way. It's like paid studying. Mm-hmm. It's unbelievable. It must be Sometimes nice. Sometimes we study. <laughs> Sometimes you... Other times we do other things. Like. But that's just... So, DS-106 is just one of the things I do. Small part. Small part. Who do you think does the theming for any attractive site on UMW blogs? You know, <laughs> it looks like Jim's playing Minecraft again. That's <laughs> like all that he does. Yeah, he's in Minecraft. God. He's unbelievable. He's gold. Who's that? I don't know. Some strange womanly voice. <laughs> yes. So I was going to ask you about your classes this semester, if you wanted to talk about them. Because I know you're doing one, um, Digital Storytelling. I am. Yep. Yeah, I made that class. Yep. I made Jim Groom. 
Now, one of the things to think about with that class, and the, one of the things that I'm thinking about is, it's the way people approach education in general. Like, I'm not going to talk about specific examples of my students. I'm going to talk about the entire system and everything wrong with that system. And I'm going to bring it down and get myself so depressed and get myself so caught up in a knot that I can't think about the good I'm doing right in front of me. I've heard from The you. interventions I'm making on a daily basis, which are real and powerful. I've heard that there are a lot of really bad things with the education system from you, like just so many. It's broken. It's completely... Completely broken. When I tell you what happens to my daughter who's in kindergarten on a daily basis. It must be so God, hard. It's like sticking what, nails in my skull. What do they do? Do they... It's just short of torturing her. Good Lord. Gosh. I'm looking for the dungeon in the bottom of that school. I know it's there. I'm digging. That's why I'm playing Minecraft. Oh. To figure out how to dig down beneath the school and see what's going on down there. There's a whole other layer we don't see. They have like cardboard cutouts in the in the desk as the chair. All the kids are downstairs in the dungeon. And zombies come out at night. Too. Exactly. They're creating zombies. It's a zombie factory. That's terrible. And I'm going to fight that. DS-106 is my fight, my strike back. My whole idea to crowdsource this class has changed everything for me. Changed the whole way I look at every. I, I, you know, the whole thing, it's just a, it's a veneer hiding the filth and cesspool that is public education right now. And the thing is, is do I go the other side and become a libertarian with this? I mean, do I push to the other side and, and just say everything's everything? And you know, you know, then I go against, I don't know, I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm so sorry to hear it, Martha. You sound so distressed, almost crazy. Well, what else do you have for me? Yes, because I'm a genius and a goddess, which is kind of the theme for the show, I, I thought. Yep, that's what it's supposed to be. Um, well, the, I have another question if you want to tell me, since you know, you're such a goddess. Like, the future. What do you, what's in the future for Martha Burtis? That's what I think I really want to know, and I'm sure all of our viewers and our listeners are dying to know. What's the future with you in it? Two martinis. <laughs> Extra dry. Maybe tonight. I'm on hiatus part time. <laughs> My kids are away. I'm going to play a little Minecraft, a little martini. Screw DS-106, screw Jam Rube, screw all this shit. I'm doing my own thing. Good party. That's good. That's a good one. Party. That's a good future. I like it. Good. Of course I, of course I would. It's, it's Martha Burtis's. Do you know anything about me, or do I have to say everything about me? Are um, you going to give me any frame to kind of build on me? Um, I know you went to UMW. <laughs> I've actually interviewed you a couple times for a... Uh, for a couple of articles in the bullet, and you went to UMW? I did. Mm -hmm. I'm a graduate of UMW back yeah. in, God, a I can't long remember time now, ago. 15 years ago, so. <laughs> 1996. Two martinis ago. I graduated. Wow. I was 15. I was part of an infant infantry at UMW. I was the youngest graduate at that point to that day. Yes. Really? Yeah, I just turned 30. Really? Yeah, I was a child prodigy. Still am. I'm just an instructional technology prodigy. Stop it! God damn it! What, you don't believe me? No, Who are you talking I don't believe to? anything. Is that someone else going to... You, you're getting your information from the research you didn't do? Come on. The source. You're right. I feel bad. So That's how so old terrible. are you? It's none of your business. I mean... It's none of my business. Well, I was just going to say, by your age, I was already an accomplished, you know, academic. I right. left that by the time I was 23. Gosh. That's when I did my tour of China. I was going to, I was actually thinking of doing one of those. What? Uh, a tour, a tour of, China? of China. But it's then important. our student aide went, uh, the previous student aide went to China and I just decided yeah. maybe I should stick with DTLT. We see what happened to him as a result of China. Yep. Yep. I'm not nearly as accomplished as you were. 15? 15. No. No. Infant I was, infantry. I was, yeah. So, mm -hmm. very good. Thank you. Yeah, I'm very impressed. Thank you. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share with us, Martha Burtis? Hmm. Um. Um. 
besides my my tragic accident as a child. Yeah, it's amazing. How did you, you know, you learned to walk again, I'm guessing, somehow? Well, I learned to walk just recently. Really? Yeah, I've, I've been faking walking for years now. <gasps> so believable. That's why I'm always driving around in my minivan. So I can't walk. <laughs> but now I can walk. That's good. And I can code. Code indeed. Yep. And I'm Lots of I'm going to do the code. You want to do this? Gym? That's how I do it. You can tweet. Yeah, I learned everything I know on the internet. Internet. You're a very good interviewer. <laughs> You're an excellent interviewer. Thank you. You really make me feel like I Welcome. can tell my story mm -hmm. without any hindrance from you. <laughs> <laughs> At all. Well, then. Very good job. Thank you. If I weren't a cut child prodigy, I wouldn't be so hard on you. I know. It's hard to live up to your standards, Martha. But I I, I would like to try. But I know I'll. <laughs> but you're not yep, really. <laughs> nope. <laughs> try. Well, I think that's about it. Is there anything you're else? You're all done? I think I'm all done. <laughs> you're all finished? Yep. Do you maybe want to bring the real Martha Burtis on here? If she actually would want to get on, then do, yeah. That would be a nice finish to this. That would be a good one. Thank you. Thank you, Jim Groom. Very good imperson yep, impersonation. I was convinced for most of the time that we had Martha Burtis right here. Go on there. I have to drive my minivan. <laughs> it looks like Martha is worth, she's thinking about coming on, but she apparently has to drive her minivan <laughs> to get here, I guess it is. So we'll wait on her. She's working on the walking. Yep. Oh. It's Lay Day in DTLT and Chocolate Day. Yes, I'm Jim put, Groom, actually. Why don't you put that close to the microphone? Yep, right yeah. in there. Where's the microphone? Right right here. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I'll take that. You want it back? <laughs> so, Hi, what did you think of Martha? How did that interview go? It was your a first fascinating lady. Your first solo interview? Yep. Yeah. Why was it what you expected? There we go. Um It was it was nothing that I could have ever dreamed of. It was really? better what than were you my expecting dreams. it to be like? I don't know, like um it's hard to put like into Like you words. would ask questions. Yeah. And she would answer them. Mm hmm So but then you decided not to do the question part? Yeah, well, you just seemed to want to talk so much. I just felt it would be better just to let you let you say she your thing. She just like went with the flow. Yeah, kinda. I got it. I got it. So that's great. Yep. So who's Lee Ellis? Who is Lee Ellis? She's a college student at UMW. If you couldn't tell, a student aide for DTLT and um, working on getting. You know, actually, I think we should talk more about Martha though. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the right answer here. If you could ask Martha any question at this point, what would you ask her? Um, Martha, how can I be more like you? Well, first, like this. I think we're going to have a good answer. You take down this side. Here, I'll show you. It's a real... Tina Fey. Yeah. Well, no, out. this isn't Tina Fey here. This is Princess Leia here. So you, you divide it. And you just take this. I made this up, by the way. This is all my invention. It's going to be all the rage. Let me try it. And you just twist this up. You need a couple of these big clippies. All right. And you clip that on there. All right. There we go. Yeah. And then you kind of scoot that piece over and grab scoot the other. Over, yeah. Grab the other one. And then, look, you do the same thing on this side. It takes practice to get it really symmetrical. And you get another of the big clippies. Yep. I love the big clippies. And there you go. And you kind of take this extra hanging. You don't want that big hanging piece no. hanging down there. Cause that looks terrible, Lee. <laughs> and it's then the draft. this is how you can be like Martha Burtis. And now, voila. It's we beautiful. Have Princess Leia hair. I know, it really is. I, I was I've been wearing my hair that way for several months. And um, people don't comment on it a lot. I think because they're laughing at it. Why would they do that? Because it looks like um, Princess Leia. Only scooted. Only back now. a little. Right, yeah. And then sometimes I do the Tina Fey thing, which I know yep. you appreciate I as love well. the Tina Fey. Yeah, it's a look. Anyway, that's 
That's she all there out, is. Actually, if you want to talk about Tina Fey, that'd be great. I mean, she came out with a new book. I have, I have never she's, watched she's Tina Fey. Yeah. I don't watch her show. I never watched her on SNL. I've never read her book. I find her actually oh, very gosh. grating. I read, I read her book. I've read, I've watched every episode with her in it. I find people who like her grading. I mean, uh -huh. just saying. I wish I had done the same for you, though, though, though Martha. Right world, if you only. wish you had done what? I wish I had. I wish I had like read about you and knew right. more. Read about my you. book. Yeah. My blog, maybe. Did you Did it's you read up idea. on my blog before mm -hmm. you interviewing me? Mm -hmm. I'll have to do that. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Next the next time. time you do an interview. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good luck with that. So are we done? Well, um, unless you want to talk about, you know, your oh, you have, you have She has notes. Look, there are notes here. Did you see that? I did. Yeah. Next semester. Yeah. What are your plans for next semester? The summer and the Boring. fall? What have I done? What am I doing now? Classes, blah, blah, blah. Future. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing next semester. I'm teaching this class again this summer, but they don't want us next semester. So They don't want you next semester? Nope, they don't want Either us. Either of you? Nope. They said Why? ixnay on the DS106. Yeah, on DS106. <laughs> well, what was their reasoning? They haven't told us. They don't like us. They don't. Um, they don't like our students. I'd love That's to all hear I can the, think it is. <laughs> I'd love to hear an audience response to this after all the things that DS106 has done that are so interesting and, and such. So I don't know what to tell you. That's too you bad. Know, part of being a member of DTLT is you're sort of like the bottom of the the food chain at Mary Washington and Nobody actually completely knows. Completely really unappreciated. Exist. The institution is new. constantly sort of banging you down and and talking smack about you and um, and you go to meetings and it's obvious that nobody really has any idea what you do what your mission is and how you directly serve the strategic goals of the institution and you're thinking more deeply about the future of higher education than just about anybody else here so that's just you know that's part of what it means to be in DTLT you know it's not all fun and games I tell people not all fun in Minecraft right I tell people I'm, I'm a part timer. When I play Minecraft, that's on my time. Okay? I get it. Would you like an M&M? &M? Sure. Remind Martha this is going out live. To who? Martha, this is Nobody's going watching. Live. <laughs> what? I'm going to offend somebody? <laughs> no, you're doing great. <laughs> Keep it going. <laughs> so, anyway, that's what it means to be Martha. It's the hair. It's the anger. It's the chocolate. I think we got all of that um, pretty, pretty good. And and it's also the sweet coconutty center that holds this place together because behind every swinging Richard, Richard <laughs> there's a lady like moi letting the swing. You know, I don't know where that metaphor is going, but. I think there's something if to you, it, and I want like to keep going with that. Metaphor, I want to keep working I think with we it. Have plenty of time for that. I don't think I'm going to get there today, but I'm going to keep. I'll blog about it keep when I get on there. It. So. I bet Jim Groom would like. Blog. Blog. Yeah, we're going to have to blog about this. <laughs> she has. She doesn't read my blog. Yeah, more the blog today. <laughs> it's like a thing. news flash. No, she's talking about something. About what about did Howie? you blog about today? What did I? I know you're just asking that because you want me to talk about it in my own voice instead of you um, describing it because you, of course, read it and carefully took notes, I'm pretty came sure up with questions. The audience would love to hear you tell it from your own voice too instead of having me just repeat it. My well, I blogged week. about um, uh, the horror that is institutional education. Gosh. <laughs> and yeah. the fact that our students think that they have to preemptively prove to us that they're not cheating because they were raised to believe that school is about jumping through hoops and checking things off of lists. Which it's Instead not. of being creative, making art, hurting. So I blogged about that. You should read it. It was a really good post. <laughs> What's your um, blog site for everyone so that we can, I'll bring it up right here. You know here. what? You can just Google Martha Burdish. Google Martha Burtis. I'm sure you'll find it. 
B U R T I S. Martha Burtis. Yeah. You look like you're getting bored, so. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I love that she, like, re-smiles at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're, you're, you're eating the camera right now. So, um, thank you for the M&Ms. They're actually, I mean, yep. I mean, thank you for supplying the snacks for your mm -hmm. guests. What about plug for Faculty Academy? Oh, yeah, please tell us about Faculty Academy. It's a conference that I single handedly organize every year <laughs> while my colleagues watch YouTube and write blog posts about inane topics that nobody actually particularly cares about. I'm and then they brag about how they blog so much. Woo! And meanwhile, I'm doing the work, but whatever. And um, it's on May 11th and 12th. May 11th and 12th. At the Stafford campus. Um, not to be confused with another EdTech conference that apparently the University of Mary Washington is sponsoring and which we knew nothing about. But hey, Don't not that I'm one. bitter. We didn't just reinvent the game of instructional technology. Uh, Michael Wesch is our keynote speaker. He's kind of a big deal. Tom Woodward is going to be talking. He'll be angry like me, so that's good. Amanda French is presenting. I never met her, but she sings a great song which I like a lot. Uh, hopefully some faculty will submit presentations. There aren't many yet, because my colleagues haven't been lighting a fire under them. We'll have food, bad conference food, and then we'll go to my house and drink beer. Sounds like a party. And that's it. It's great. <laughs> it's free. And free. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Anything else? Are you Anything? glad I came on? I'm, I'm so glad we got to do this show with you. <laughs> Me too. I really, mostly I'm just glad I got to share the hair. I've been wanting to share that off show. Thanks. Is there anything else? No, that's it. I'm done. All righty. Thank you so much. I guess that'll be it for today for DTLT Exposed. We're happy <laughs> to have... Martha Burtis on, and then before that, also Martha Burtis. All right. Um, have a good one.